care if you're pissed off or not. Just don't move. Edward? Who is it? Don't worry about it, Jack. I got it under control. Edward, don't be so hasty. I like the look of this fellow. Please, <sighs> accept my apologies for Edward's behavior. He's just looking out for me, but sometimes he can be overzealous. I'm Jack Cabot. Welcome to Cabot. You'd better tell your lackey to watch himself. Once you know Edward better, you'll realize what a genuinely nice fellow he is. But let's not let a momentary misunderstanding ruin the moment. It's been so long since we've had a visitor. Edward, I think this occasion calls for drinks. The good bourbon, eh? Come on, this way. No need to stand talking in the front hall like savages. get down to business. I have a question I'd like to ask all my new employees. Is this really the time? Don't interrupt me. The question is this. Do you believe there is other intelligent life in the universe? The universe is a big place. Anything could be out there. Wonderful. Most people's minds are too narrow to admit the possibilities of an infinite universe. But I'm not talking about flying saucers and little green men. I'm talking about the hidden history of our planet, the very origins of human civilization, ancient powers that modern science, even at its pinnacle, could barely begin to comprehend. That's really interesting. I'm glad to hear you say that. It's become my life's work. My approach is to combine a rigorous scientific method while keeping an absolutely open mind. So much has been closed off to us simply because people assumed they already knew the answers. My father excavated a city in the Rub al Khali in Arabia, which he dated to more than 4,000 years before the rise of any known human civilization. The structures and artifacts were strange, disturbing, and clearly not constructed for or by humans. I've spent my life trying to decipher what he uncovered. Jack, can I tell him what I need him to do? I'm sorry, Edward. I just get carried away sometimes. You're sending him to look for the missing shipment. Yeah. Well then, I'd better leave you to it. We'll talk more about this some other time, when things are less rushed. It isn't important now. Welcome to the family. Okay. You're officially hired. That was interesting. Huh. Good. I feel like that kind of thing. You've come to the right place. That's part of the job, by the way. It's best to keep an open mind. Jack may be eccentric, but he's definitely not crazy. The job I got for you is simple. Jack owns a facility north of the city. There's an important package that went missing between there and here. I need you to track it down and bring it back to me. Any questions? Only about a million. You should start at Parsons State Insane Asylum. Don't let the name spook you. It's just a secure building that we're using. We think the courier got ambushed as he was leaving the place. The guards heard gunfire in the distance, but we don't know exactly what happened. Check in with Maria at Parsons. She's in charge of the security force there. She can point you in the right direction. You all set then? 
I'm out of here. Good luck. Don't get killed on your first job. Good to see you again. Hey, Jack. Ah, you're back. Do you need something? I was intrigued by your theory about an ancient alien civilization. Actually, it was my father's theory. Now proven beyond doubt, although only to me, unfortunately. There aren't many archaeology journals publishing these days. What was your father's theory? He believed that all of the earliest human civilizations shared some common parent that was unknown to history. Think of Atlantis. The myth of an advanced civilization destroyed by a cataclysm is shared by many widely separated ancient cultures. Eventually, he found what he was looking for. A lost city, buried beneath the sands of the empty quarter of the Arabian Desert, millennia older than the earliest human civilizations, but with technology that seems to have surpassed our own. And yet, everything about it is strange, disturbing geometries, tools not made for human hands, carvings that hint at dimensions beyond our own. You said your father found a lost city? Yes. He spent years looking and was widely ridiculed by the so-called experts. I'm ashamed to say even I doubted him. But in the end, he found it. A lost city, buried in the sands of the Rub al Khali, the empty quarter of Arabia. You have proof. Enough to satisfy me. <laughs> he only made a single expedition to the lost city. But he brought back enough to show beyond a doubt that the city he found wasn't made by or for human beings. I wanted to ask you about something else. All right. How'd your father manage to travel to Arabia with the world blown to hell? Ah, well, that was before the war, when he was a young man. Come on. The war was 200 years ago. You know your history. Most people don't grasp how long ago the war really was. It is an unusual situation, but... Well, it's a private family matter. That's no concern of yours. Was there anything else? What's going on at that old insane asylum? I carry out some of my research there. That's all you need to know. You must think I'm an idiot. I'm sorry you feel that way. Was there anything else? Quite a place you've got here. Amazing that it survived the war. Thank you. I try not to take it for granted. We were definitely more fortunate than most. It hasn't been easy keeping it up to pre-war standards, but we do what we can. Any more questions? I've got to get going. All right. What is it? What's this missing package I'm looking for? It's a metal case holding vials of serum. You don't need to worry about what it is. Jack needs it for his research. That's all you need to know. You all set then? Why does Jack have people guarding an old insane asylum? I don't mind you asking questions. As long as you don't mind me not answering them. If it was important to what I was asking you to do, I'd tell you. In this case, it isn't. Anything else? How did this package go missing? The courier got there and picked up the package just fine. But never got back here. Could be simple bad luck. Or it could be a deliberate ambush. That's why I'm sending you. It's important that you recover the missing package. Are we good here? Nothing else. Okay. They're expecting you over at Parsons, so you'd better get going.
Don't have the key. Oh, it's you. 